I live along the uh, waterway. I live along, along a huge river, the Susquehanna River, and it marks my place and this time in my life. And one of the things for me is water is always very important. Like I need to look at it. And so my studio overlooks the water. So um, I'm captivated by the ever-changing view. You can see the piece behind me. It has like an undulation and a backward and forward and an up and down. And I'm not unique in the fact that I've had a lot of things happen um, that have been really difficult to deal with. And so I'm always trying to like be on an even keel. Um, but there's always, always the ebb and flow. So immediately when I saw the title, I was like, okay, this, this is speaking to me. I, I have work already. and. It's something that I write in my journal about, and so it was just it sort of jumped out for me. I hope in my work, and when I look at other people's artwork, that there's a visceral response. Like somehow this draws me in to say, what is this about? I think part one is that I tend to use a lot of, I, I would call neutrals, like gray, brown, rust, cream. Um, should I say black? Um, and, and many, so it's, it's a lot that I go to. Um, and I think that this piece, that palette particularly speaks to the river it, at a certain type of, when it's a certain ebb and flow, it's very dark. And also then there's the light that skims off, off the top. And I've watched the water a lot. And I think that the palette speaks to what I was trying to say, intentional palette. Art is very important in my life. I would say that it's my lifeline, my life juices. I can't imagine my life um, without doing something creatively, um, doing something creative every day. I find that it reduces my stress, that there's a certain adrenaline and energy that comes in creating and it's, I'm just one of those people like I have to get into my studio. I think that I just really like slow, mindful work. Um, I, I've evolved into that, you know? Like I used to be a big, uh, doing a lot of pieces and uh, like dying and then restructuring. And in the last few years, I find that I get more out of like you know, drawing my line, but it's like with a hand st stitch. I just, I feel like I'm in there. And at, at the same time, I um, find it a very meditative, mindful practice. And I need that right now.